But we've had a chance to get a quick flight with the Lynx system, and the question we have for you, obviously, is what are L3 Avionics' plans for this system? What will you do with it uh, from a standpoint of debut and implementation standpoint? When can we expect to see it? We're out demonstrating and showing the family of ADSB products, which the product name is Lynx. It's a complete ADSB family, starting from a remote mount for the ADSB compliancy all the way up to the panel mount. The panel mount is a 1090 ES ADSB out, ADSB in, UAT in. It's a touch screen and it also has a TAS enablement. So there's a lot of information packed in a panel mount unit. It will meet the ADSB mandate as well as bring the ADSB traffic and the FISB weather into the cockpit for the pilot. What was the thinking behind this product at this time? Well, we wanted to have a product that would satisfy almost every aircraft in need for the aircraft owner to meet the ADSB mandate in 2020. We also wanted to have a standalone box that did not need to interface with any other equipment in the airplane. And so we do have a WAS embedded compliant GPS in the system. So it truly is a standalone panel mount system. If you can, walk us through the functionality of the system from, say, from takeoff to arrival, typical flight, what's implemented, how it's implemented, interface, and so forth. So there's two screens. On the left screen is typical transponder functions. Upon fire up and receiving your flight plan, touch in your transponder code like you would any other transponder. And once that's complete, you can slide that screen with a touch of a finger over to the left, and it brings up a traffic page. Now, in our airplane, we have TAS enabled, so we see TISB traffic, we see ADSB traffic, we see ADSR traffic, and we also see active traffic. So that's beneficial on takeoff. If you're not in ADSB coverage, you'll see the active traffic that may or may not be out there in, in the pattern. On the right side of the screen, we have a traffic page and the second page is radar. So as we swipe over with a finger swipe and we're airborne and we, we're in coverage, the data will start coming in. Today we had some precip in the area, so that showed up. There's also graphical METARs that show up for nearby airports, and those are color-coded like you would expect. We can touch on an airport and it'll call up the identifier, and then we can pull up the METARs, the TAF, or the NOTAM for that particular airport. And that's useful, obviously, in route and, and for flight planning or navigating around weather. The next page is winds and temperature aloft. So on a long uh, flight, we can determine if at uh, another altitude might be beneficial for the flight. And we can change the flight levels with a push. And we can toggle between winds or temperature aloft. And on the last page, we have all text data. Type in a, an airport identifier and pull up the METAR, TAF, or NOTAM that are current, and we also have a means to uh, program your favorite airports in there. With the 2020 mandate coming up, is this product the right time, right place for meeting not only just that mandate, but working into the future? Oh, I believe it is. A lot of pilots, understandably, have been waiting to see what's going to happen, if the mandate will be pushed out, and there's still a lot of confusion with ADSB. We think our timing is right. There's a lot of aircraft that need to be equipped, and despite the mandate, this product provides a lot of benefit to the pilot with a new transponder and also free products that come in with the weather and the traffic. We see that this will be very successful and desired in the industry. Aero TV is brought to you by... There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller.